Greetings, India Connectors. Welcome to the Wednesday video. All right, so we had a guest on our Twitch stream, Amian, who lives in Mumbai. And here are some snippets from our interview. Viewers, this is Amian Kapadia. And so we met when we were in India. He had, what video did you discover of mine that first caught your attention? I can't say for sure, but I think it was the Why India video. Oh, okay. Nice. So that was back in 2000. Oh, back, yeah. 12 or 13. Yeah, we were still in Noida when we mm -hmm. made that video. I got to meet Amian when we were at, uh, when I was hosting Mumbai Film and Comic Con. So, uh, long time viewer, Amian, and newer viewer, Divesh, league player. So, we geeked out about league for a little bit. So, how, how's the con been so far for you guys? It's been amazing, man. The numbers just keep going up every year. You know, we talk about everything from creative cross cultural to constructive things. And one of the things that Amian has contributed to this Building a Better Me project has been uh, this great blog post about uh, recovering and dealing with depression. And so he has some good advice to me. So if any of you are starting a new physical fitness routine, I thought this was some pretty good advice. Uh, like when it comes to training, right? Um, there's this concept called polarized training. If your sport or your activity uh, requires you to extract your performance within a five minute period train at a duration that's much higher than five minutes but at a very very low intensity or you train at a period that is way shorter than your duration of performance but at an insanely high intensity for a very short period of time and as you can see the view counts are really sinking on this channel as we kind of try to rediscover why it is we're on the internet and it's more about connecting in a one-to-one -one fashion. And so the lower view counts don't bother me. They definitely bothered me a year ago. A lot of this is just for us to get better information. I had some conversation with Amian and some of our other Indian friends in the chat about demonetization, something me and Melissa didn't experience. We'd come back to America. For those who aren't familiar with that, uh, India demonetized, put certain higher rupee higher dollar i guess you say notes out of circulation to try to eliminate some of the what they call uh, black money you know uh counter and counterfeit bills and this sort of thing the corruption trying to fight combat that so we got to have a very extended talk about that which is just not going to fit into this video so you can look forward to that in the podcast why i'm encouraged about this is it's just nice to have these conversations if you'd like to know more about india this is a great way to do it and we're gonna have amian back on again for building a better me we're gonna go in depth in his post about dealing with depression it's been helpful for me just um the the part that i've tried to apply so far so thanks so much to amian for joining us if you would like to be featured in the india connection do let us know and we can talk about whatever you want it could be india related creative it can be constructive Whatever it is, we're going to be all a combination of those three. Do let us know. Or if there's someone you think would be a good guest for the India Connection as we get this the ball rolling on this thing, that'd be great. Uh, we are a little bit slow starting right now, but uh, I'm excited about it. We had one other link in the India Connection subreddit that we didn't get to on our live stream. It's a Netflix documentary called Ladies First. So Melissa took a look at that. Nice. Catchy title, ladies first. One nice thing is the Hindi is very clear. I very, could understand yeah. the Hindi. I could, like, yes, that was good. I mean, I needed the subtitles to help keep me on pace. Right. But I could, in hindsight, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I understood that. Right. So that was really good. So I think it would be really, really great for our Hindi practice. But no, now that's a documentary that Netflix has made exactly. about India that I would watch. Yes. I mean, like, it's still very emotional. Like, I mean, it actually was kind of like on the verge of tears at a couple points during that trailer. I don't know. You're I feel really like at that's the verge a... of tears? Yeah, it did, it did. It did make me tear up a couple Seeing of times. Seeing how far she's come from. Right? right. And okay. and the media pressure. I Yeah, like I really feel for her. Hard navigating the media. Um, especially when you already have what appears to be so much going against you, you know, right. and then add that on top. Because I feel like this is a social issue that isn't quite as gut-wrenching for us to get into. Then, Other topics. Then Osho and right. bioterrorism and guns and Right. craziness yeah this will be a, a positive uplifting so thank yeah, you for no, the submission so thanks for the uh submission from indian dude 2018 stay cross-cultural